Hi dear students, how are you? Today we will go through the second story in the 8th standard English reader. See the name of the story, The Boy Who Drew Cats. And it is a Japanese folktale. It's a Japanese folktale. You know the meaning of the word folktale, I think. What is the meaning of the word folktale? What is it? You learned it, I think. What is it? Of course, Nadori Kadagal. Folktale means Nadori Kadagal. So, the boy who drew cats is a Japanese folktale and we don't know the name of the writer. So, that is so special about the folktales. We don't know who has written this story or who wrote the story. We don't know. In our first story, the mysterious feature, we are familiar with the writer, the author. What is the name of the writer? Don't you remember it? Of course, Charles D. Costa. And in this case, the boy who drew cats. In the story, we are unaware of the writer. We don't know who wrote the story because it is a folk tale. And here we know the name of the publisher. It's a Japanese publisher. What is his name? Asagawa Takajiro. And he is a Japanese publisher. He is not a writer. He is not the author of the story. He just collected the stories, Japanese stories and published. That's all. Now let us pass on to the first paragraph. I think all of you have gone through this one earlier. Now we can, it is a very simple story, a Japanese story, Japanese folktale. A long time ago, in a small country village in Japan, there lived a poor farmer and his wife who were very good people. A long time ago, once upon a time, long, long time ago, this is so special about, this is how a folk tale begins. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago. So, this is a, a real example of a folk tale. A long time ago, in a small village country in Japan. In a small village country in Japan. Small village country in Japan. There lived a poor farmer and his wife who were very good people. They are in a small village in Japan. There lived a poor farmer and his wife. A farmer and his wife. You know farmers who are doing agricultural works. Farmers are those who do agricultural works. And they are in a small village, a Japanese village in Japan. They are lived a small, you see, a farmer and his wife. They are very good people, but they were not rich. They were very poor people, very good character they were, but they were very poor people, not at all rich. Then, they had a number of children and found it very hard to feed them all. The father and mother, the parents, the Japanese parents, the Japanese farmers had a number of children. They had a number of children in the family. So many children were there in the family. Okay, how many children do you have in your family? Your parents, father and mother may be having one child, isn't it? Or two children, three children, four, maximum five. But here, they had a number of children. Number, it's not mentioned. We don't know how many children were there in the family. Okay, maybe ten, we don't know. But, so, they were very poor. So, they found it very hard to feed them all. Father and mother. It was very difficult for them to feed the children, give food to the children. Why? So many children were there. Maybe 9, 10, we don't know. So it was very difficult because they were from a very poor family. So they could not give food to all the children. The elder son was strong enough when only 14 years old to help his father. The elder son was strong enough when only 14 years to help his father. How old are you? You may be 12 years old, I think, isn't it? Or you may be 13 or maximum 14, isn't it? And this boy, see, the elder son, what do you mean by elder son? Younger son, elder son, elder brother. You may, be, you may have an elder brother or elder sister. Or you may be the elder brother of others or the elder sister, isn't it? So, elder son, when he was 14 years old, he was strong enough. He, he was healthy, strong enough to help the parents. 
he was 14 years old the elder brother was able to help the parents why parents are they are very poor so it was very difficult for them to feed all the children so the elder son, son started helping the parents and the little girls learned to help their mother almost as soon as they could walk girl children in the children in the family they also started helping their parents mainly they started helping the mother maybe helping mother to prepare food and the kitchen and something else isn't it and maybe having a small uh, agricultural garden there a vegetable garden there and they planted certain things they also started the girls also started helping the parents the girls started helping the parents so the children started helping the parents because they were very poor and it was very difficult for them to feed all the children but the youngest child a little boy did not seem to fit for hard work youngest one eldest one youngest child you know youngest okay youngest child a small boy did not seem to fit for hard work he could not do any hard work why he was very clever cleverer than all his brothers and sisters but he was quite weak and small he was quite weak and small the eldest boy very weak very lean and small so he was not fit for hard work why he was not healthy he was not healthy no help he was not healthy so he cannot do any any agricultural work the boy was very weak and very small and people said he could never grow very big people said he could never grow very big they thought that he he will be always like this people thought that he will be like this he will not grow he will be very weak okay he is not fit for any agricultural work why he is very weak so his parents thought it would be better for him to become a priest than to become a farmer so the parents father and mother thought that it is better for the eldest child to become a priest priest you know priest priest japanese priest purogi that they thought it is better for him to become a priest than to become a farmer why farming what is it you you must be very powerful you must be you must have that you must be healthier enough to do the work see the work spade work you must have the help you must have the energy to do the work and see see this work but this boy our our boy is very weak and very small and he was not fit for doing any type of hard work so the parents thought let him become a priest now they took him with with them to the village temple one day and asked the good old priest who lived there if he would have their little boy for his acolyte and teach him all that a priest ought to know one day the father and mother took him to whom took the little boy to the village temple took him to the village temple village temple they went there father and mother went there with the boy to the village temple and asked the good old priest who lived there if he would have their little boy for his acolyte and teach him all that a priest ought to know there in the temple there was a old priest there in the temple old priest and they asked him, can you make our child a, an acolyte what do you mean by the word acolyte this is an acolyte means a person who is helping the priest a helper or assistant of the priest later this person will become the priest okay you know it a person who is helping the priest and we'll see in kerala we can call it a seminarians one who is going to seminary he will be start helping the priest later he will become the priest also the same manner and the, see the parents asked them, can you just take our child as an acolyte and teach him all that a priest ought to know and teach him the lessons of the priest let him become a priest why he is not fit for going any farming so let him become a priest the old man spoke kindly to the lad and asked him some hard questions the old man who is the old man here the old man old priest in the temple the old priest in the temple asked him some questions 
not what type of questions very hard question difficult questions he asked very difficult questions he asked so clever were the answers that the priest agreed to take the little fellow into the temple as an acolyte he was very clever see we didn't discuss that part see this part the earlier part he was very clever and cleverer than all his brothers and sisters he was the cleverest boy in the family he was very intelligent man a intelligent boy he was a wise person very intelligent one he was clever cleverer than maybe the cleverest boy in the family very intelligent boy in the family so then the priest asked him some questions so he gave see and so clever were the answers that the priest agreed to take him the little fellow into the temple as an acolyte and educate him for the priesthood and his answers were correct very intelligent answers so the old priest was very happy and he agreed okay you you come and see you come to the temple and you you will become the acolyte my acolyte and later you will become the priest okay he agreed now let us pass on to the next one the boy had learned quickly what the old priest taught him and was very obedient in most things the boy learned quickly he was a very clever boy he was a very intelligent boy very studious boy so he learned everything the priest taught him he is a very good learner and was very obedient in most things obedient means anusarana shilamulla ullave he was very obedient in most things obedience is a quality that an acolyte needs so he was very obedient but he had one fault but he had one mistake all of us have some faults isn't it you may have one fault what's your fault maybe spending too much time before the tv isn't it or taking the mobile and playing games maybe your fault isn't it the same manner this boy our hero also has a fault one mistake one problem what is it he like to draw cats during during study hours what is he doing he is drawing cat pictures during study time study hours he is drawing pictures of the cat drawing the pictures of cat pictures during study time see pictures that is his fault that is the only fault he has drawing pictures of cats during study hours and to draw cats even where cats ought not to have been drawn at all he every place he will draw the picture of the cat and see this award in the world you may be drawing pictures of the cat is it and he will draw there everywhere he will draw the pictures even in the in a place where we should not write the anything there also he will just or draw the picture of the cat that was his fault that was the only fault he had whenever he found himself alone he drew cats whenever he found himself whenever he is alone in the room what will he do he will draw the picture of the cat he drew them on the margins of the priest books and all the screens of the temple and on the walls and on pillars what did he do he drew the picture of cat drew the picture of cat everywhere he drew the picture of this cat he drew the picture everywhere okay so the place is see he drew them on the margins of the priest books you know the margin this is the margin said this is the margin is it here see you see in a book you may be just writing drawing something is it in your see in english or textbook you may be write writing something or drawing some decoration books and all is it but he is drawing the picture of the cat in the priest books you know the books of the priest can be something like a bible or bhagavad gita or kurbana pustakam in malayalam we can be the bible and there also there in the margins he drew the picture of cats see everywhere he drew the picture of cats drawing the picture of cats on all screens of the temple on the screens of the temple screens you know screens of the temple he drew cats on pillars pillar you know pillars on pillars also he would do the picture several times the priest told him this was not right but he could not stop drawing cats several times the priest told him this is not right 
drawn draw the pictures anyway especially picture of cats he told him and he told him that this was this is not right but he did not stop drawing cats but he didn't stop it because it was his mistake it was his habit he drew them because he could not really help it that's it he could not control that habit okay you may be having some bad habit isn't it when you see on your study table you will be drawing uh, writing your names isn't it or the names of your friends or maybe drawing some pictures if you have a pen with you you will draw the picture there on the or we will be making some markings uh, there on the study table or in your textbook itself you will be just you see you are drawing some pictures somewhere here and drawing some some items here and all that is our habit we cannot help it we cannot control it that is our passion isn't it so so was the case with the boy also he could not control that habit what was the habit drawing pictures he could not control it he had what is called the genius of an artist but he had the genius the talent kalivu of an artist he was a very good artist okay he was a very good artist and just for that reason he was not quite fit to be an acolyte a good acolyte to study books so he was not fit to become an acolyte he was not fit to become a priest why a priest to should study the books of a priest and here he is an artist drawing pictures so his profession must be his job must be that of an artist not that of a priest who understood it the old priest realized it okay see one day after he had drawn some very clever pictures of cats upon paper screen the old priest said to him severely one day he had drawn some very clever pictures of cats upon paper screens on paper screens he drew the pictures of cats that day the old priest said to him severely severely what is the meaning of the word severely in a very harsh manner like a warning okay maybe a little bit angry he thought what did he say very seriously he thought my boy you must go away from this temple at once at once you must get out of the temple go out of the temple go from the temple you will never make a good priest but perhaps you will become a great artist you are not fit to become a priest you cannot become a priest but you will become perchance you will become a very good artist this is not the right place for you this temple don't go away from the temple not stay here you are not going to become a priest but perchance you will become a artist now let me give you a last piece of advice and be sure you never forget it before you go away from here i will give you one advice i will give you one piece of advice over this i will give you see and don't forget my advice what is the advice avoid large places at night keep to small that's a advice given to the small boy from the priest what is it avoid large places at night go away from big places and go to remain in small places avoid or work large big places large places at night stay in small area at night so that was an advice given by given by the priest